We're at the Stanley Pond Tree Farm in beautiful Estatula, Florida. We're here because Ryobi Tools has a whole a bunch of new outdoor power equipment offerings they wanted to share with us. And now we're sharing them with you right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Want to help out the channel? Head on over to the merch store. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. In each section, we will have the product manager for that product category leading that conversation. So this is the person who spent the time with the end user talking about what they like about our previous models. We're gonna load y'all up in uh, the golf carts, but you're basically gonna see three tiers of products. So if you think about 40 volt, you're gonna see our 40 volt brush product. We're then gonna step consumers up into 40 volt HP, which is that brushless technology. And then you'll see 40 volt HP Whisper. When you see 40 volt HP Whisper, you know it's our best product in that category. Start off here, we have our sheer shrub, and that's gonna allow you to get into the flower beds, into lower areas, and maybe get rid of some grass or some weeds that have started to pop up that you don't wanna take a bigger guy out there for to use. From here, we'll step up into our 18 bolt that's gonna feature a rotating handle and a hedge sweep. The hedge sweep is patented and is gonna be on all of our hedge, all of our hedge trimmers, and that's gonna allow you to hedge and also sweep all of the debris straight into the ground. From this guy, we'll take you straight up to our brushless HP line, and that's gonna feature a brushless motor, which means it has higher efficiency and it's gonna get you more runtime. If that's not gonna get it done, we'll take you up to our 40 volt, and this is also gonna feature the same features that we have here with the hedge, the hedge sweep and the rotating handle. And last but certainly not least, we have our 40 volt HP, and this is gonna actually have a one inch cut capacity and anti-jam technology. So if you do get caught up on something larger than an inch, it won't actually start jamming on you, but it will actually slow down and it'll stop completely. The good thing about these is they all have dual action blades. So it's gonna re reduce a lot of user fatigue so you'll be able to cut longer. Additionally, along with this lineup, we have some more cutting tools that you can see in front of me. We have our lopper, and that's gonna be really easy to get into small and tight spots to go ahead and make quick, um, quick cuts that you might not need an entire um, hedge trimmer for. Additionally, we're going to have a, lop a lopper that's going to be a pole lopper and that'll actually allow you to extend up to nine feet into the air. If that's not going to get it done, we'll have our pole hedge. Pole hedge is going to be the same concept as our pole lopper, except this is going to extend more and it has an articulating head. So if you have hedges that are high up and you need to get that flat, perfect top, pull it right up, articulate down and you are good to go. We have a 30 inch, a 42 inch, and a 54 inch. These are all still prototypes, so you're seeing them first. These aren't even, uh, these are still prototypes. So, 30 inch, what have we stepped up? We have an LCD screen, so we can give the customer the feedback uh, that they want. How much runtime do they have left? If it's charging, how much charge time? Uh, and just be able to allow them to change the speed of the unit. There's low, medium, and high. Also allow them to change the power of the blades because we want to give the customers the options that they don't have in gas where they can say, hey, this power is enough or this speed's enough and increase their runtime and really give them that experience that they need for whatever it is, whatever customer it is. We went with this iDrive joystick. You can watch a movie in this seat and, and be comfortable for two hours. So we've got um, seat, seat suspension, but the seat itself is very, very comfortable. Okay, We've, um, we've added a cross. You can't see it on this one, but if I lift this up, that cross cut design that we have on our walk behind mowers that mulches very finely, gives you better bagging, better mulching, better side discharge. Right here, cross cut design on this. So this is a six blade deck. This has three sets of two. We have a fast charger as well. You know, where we're looking at overnight previously on the lead acids, we are now charging in um, two hours, three hours and four hours. And before we were charging You'd have to wait till the next day. So not only can you have this better unit, you can also get back to work the same day if you need to get 
more of your yard done same day. We have a new 80 volt system. This battery now will power these riders. This is 80 volts of power, the highest voltage, the most power out there for the for the battery powered zero turns in the market. But we didn't leave our customers behind either. Those that are in the 40 volt system, we're allowing them to add 40 volt batteries here on these wings uh, in different configurations based on the different zero turns. So they can add that supplemental runtime and have the power they need with 80 volt, but also give themselves the supplemental runtime they need as well. Uh, also, we'll run back to an app. So you finished cutting for the day and now you're, you know, you have a little bit left. You want to know how much charge, charge time you have left? It's going to be shooting it back to your phone on your app. How much more do I have to charge? This LCD screen also tells you each battery that you have plugged in, how much is charged, how much it isn't charged, how much time you have left to cut based on the load profile that you're cutting in your yard. Steve, I have a question. Sure. The charge times and the charging, that charger plugs into the battery itself or is there uh, an inlet on the mower? There, right okay, perfect. And that will charge. That just plugs into the wall and right in. You it'll can charge the 80 the volts and the 40 volts yep. simultaneously. Yep. first ever cordless rear time tiller on the market. It comes with uh, four 40 volt packs. So we're taking a lot of what we've learned on the two stage snow blower on the ZTRs and we've applied it here. Now these are competing about, uh, competing against much, much larger gas engines out of the market. It's as simple as pushing this button here and pulling the bail. We have integrated ballast so that you can put sand in and add extra weight or you can even add rocks in here. And then you even have a bull bar. We added this bull bar so you can actually pick this up. Yeah, it's easier for that, but you can also attach more weight to the front of this if you wanted to have a more uh, easier uh, till experience. We do have the One Plus cultivator here, obviously ideal for small gardens, uh, very tight spaces. We have a front time tiller that's also hitting the market this year. This front time tiller is actually the quietest front time tiller in its class. Okay, um, and I'll show you here just how quiet this is. It's very easy to start. You just hit this button right here and pull the bail, and you can hear the signs go off. So easy, you can use with one hand, really not pushing or having to pull back on this at all. So obviously you need the wheels to get from point A to point B very easily, but what happens is if you leave the wheels down, you won't be able to till as deep as you need to, right? So we've designed it in to make it as easy as possible. You just pop it out, pop it up, and now you're able to dig deeper with the front tire. Nice. That's cool. All right, next up, we've got the two augers. So these augers actually been in the market for over a year now. We've got a one plus 18 volt, and we've got a 40 volt auger. You can get up to 50 holes per charge, and there's just four amp that comes with this kit. And then you can get up to 30 holes with the 18 volt here. It does come with a six inch bit, and you have an eight inch bit. We do offer a whole range of bits online, so it goes anywhere from four inches all the way up to 10 inches. And we even uh, launched an ice bit, so if you have to go ice fishing, you can actually drill into the ice. So this is new to the market. This is another first ever, the so first cordless heat factor out. It, it's gonna come with an aerator wheel as well, so you can swap them out. But this actually runs off of two 18 volt, four amp hour batteries in here, and it doubles the power, so up to 36 volts, so you can, you can get more done. Is it a plug aerator? You said it could aerate too? Aerate, yeah. But with a plug, is it, are they plugged? No, it's like a tie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're doing a curve, you know, it's always really hard to, to have to balance this on two wheels when the, well, half of this is off of the curb. So we included a drop wheel. You hit this lever right here and the wheel drops and actually locks in place there. So you don't have to, you know, wiggle around and be able to hold this while you're doing the curve. To put it fly, you just hit that lever again. We also have a height adjust that you can do up by the handles. So you do this lever here, and you can actually adjust the wheel so you can do different types of, of, of heights. All right, finally, one of the more innovative features here, as you're edging, 
Some people like to walk right behind their unit here. And we also have a feature where you can turn this 90 degrees and you can be on the side and be able to walk next to it instead. Okay, a few of the other features uh, are actually a space for a replacement blade that are inside here into the battery port area and a quick blade change, edge guide, and blade guide. This is what we convert gas users to cordless every single day. So how do you convert customers like that? Power, performance, and runtime, the three main pillars of cutting with a push mower. Power and performance. Do these have the power and performance of gas? Absolutely, we beat it. Uh, with a gas mower, when they hit thick load, uh, the, the RPMs drop and it has to build that momentum again to get through the cut. These load sensing, high performance, high end brushless motors sense that load. And when you hit a, a thick load, the RPMs rev up immediately and you get through that, through that thick cut with no uh, reduction in performance. We have a self-propelled 21 inch model that has everything that this self-propelled unit has, but we went with one touch handles to give the customer even uh, a better experience. So one quick, that's all you have to do to, to, uh, to use the handles. Customers love it. We're gonna keep it on all of our mowers going forward. Uh, we updated the, uh, the single point height adjustment to be more gas light. This is where your gas units have it. Um, and we have a speed selector. So when you're in uh, self-propelled mode, it's not just an on-off. With the thumb, with your thumb, you can adjust the speed to match the pace you want to go, okay? Moving up to our Smart Trek Crosscut mower. Uh, it has everything that you see here in this unit, but then we step it up again. We have crosscut. We talked about that a little bit in the, uh, the riding mowers, but crosscut means that there's actually two blades underneath the unit. So what does that do for you? Number one is uh, gives a thinner, uh, mulches the grass better. So you have two blades. The top blade cuts the top half first, and then the bottom blade finishes the job. Uh, we also have Smart Trek uh, functions on this. So Smart Trek is, uh, we have our self-propelled here with our speed selector. We have the same thing on this, but we have this Smart Trek paddle on the back that uh, the customer could push, and the harder they push, the faster it goes. So the customer can easily and quickly match the pace of the self-propelled to the pace that they're walking. Customers love it, and we actually improved it on this guy. So. Our newest model that's going to be launching here in about a month is our 40 volt HP um, all wheel drive whisper mower. So again, it has everything that you see in this, but we step it up again as we come as we always do. And we have all wheel drive and we have uh, whisper technology. So why is all wheel drive important? Well, number one, you can turn it on and off. So a customer can go all four wheels powered or turn it off and just have two wheels powered. But in very bumpy terrain, side hill lies, it allows the customer to keep that straight line and keep a con consistent cut through that. Uh, mostly on side hill lies or hilly uh, yards, customers will go up and down. Obviously, you guys know that you don't want to go in the same direction every time you cut. So the, this gives the customer the ability to switch and go horiz horizontally along that and not create ditches in their yard. And it also keeps a straight line as you're going on that side hill. But we also noticed, obviously, people have different size hands. People like to use it in different fashion. So we redesigned the shape of it. We also made it adjustable so you could do it at different heights. So as the customer finds out what they really like, a lot of people just use the palm of their hand instead of their thumb. But uh, I think the customer, the end user, is really going to like the adaptability of this to match their personal feelings of how they want to use it. Uh, we also have an integrated mulch plug. So all of these units, when you go from bagging to mulching, you have to insert a mulch plug to plug up the hole that you use for bagging. It's not just to make sure that the, uh, the grass doesn't come out of the hole, but it also completes that radius on the inside of the deck to make sure that the mulching and the side discharge function is, is working perfectly. So what we've done is we inserted a door that opens and closes the, when, you, when you move this lever over so the customer doesn't have to keep up with the mulch plug and they easily can change from backing to mulching and side discharge and just up the lever. Yep. And the one thing that I'm most proud of some, are these three labels that you see on the, on the right side of these mowers. All three of these motor, mowers are proudly made in Anderson, South Carolina. 
and we could not be more prouder to do that. And we are working our tails off every single day to be able to put those labels on the rest of these cars, and it will be soon, I promise you that. Seven thirty CFM versus your five fifty. How do we do that? So we had this old muffler system um, in the back previously with some honeycomb design. We opened up the inlet grate back here, allow for more streamlined airflow. Uh, we were able to add some more uh, sound dampening foam in here as well. We still have the sound dampening foam up in the front to you know continue that trend. But what we've also done and gotten creative with is shifting the motor and fan. So the closer the motor and fan are gonna be spinning to the inlet, the more you're gonna hear that. So we had a cordless backpack blower that we launched a couple years ago. Um, biggest complaints were runtime and uh, the power. We went from 625 CFM to 730 CFM, and now we're selling this with two six amp hour batteries. You're gonna get up to 50 plus minutes of runtime. If that runtime's not long enough for you, we also got this guy come to the stores as well. It's actually going to be packed in a kit with our 730 CFM blower. You can load up 340 volt batteries in here and really just extend that runtime. But what it also does is take the weight out of the tool. So if you have a battery on the tool, this is just a dummy pack, very light. All the weight's going to be on your back, not your hand. This doesn't just work with a blower. This goes in every 40 volt tool. So you could, a head trimmer sold with a two amp hour, you could put three 12s in here, you're gonna get 18 times the run time, 18 times. Our 40 volt HP 17 inch Whisper Series String Trimmer. So this one stands at 64 and a half dBs. Um, like I said, offers a 17 inch cut swath, and then you're gonna have 0.105 inch line. So massive cutting diameter on the line to get you through those most aggressive cuts that you're gonna come, uh, come across. Again, the carbon fiber shaft that everyone knows and loves allowing for lighter weight and more durability. So it's actually coming in with a six amp hour battery at 12.95 pounds. We put a six amp hour battery on this unit because we wanted to make sure that you're getting very similar runtime to what you had previously. And I just wanna run a couple of these units just so that you can hear the sound difference between them. So with that one, you're kind of hearing that whining uh, type of pitch. And then with this one. Yep. These attachment capable trimmers, mm -hmm. right? Both of them are, are shaft driven. Like the motor's not on the head here. Correct. Correct. So, yep. so the motor is on the head here. The it's motor like is right here. Cable. Yep. Okay. So when oh, we were. Not. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. so the biggest thing when we were developing Whisper and looking at the string trimmer, we were finding that all of that noise is actually coming down here at the head. Uh, so some of the things that helped us uh, is the motor down low that you're just talking about, because now you're having that direct drive straight into um, where the action is, act is being performed. And then another thing, uh, and I don't know if everybody can see, but there is holes in this guard. So we found that the guard kind of acts uh, similar to like an amphitheater. So it's you know, amplifying that noise by allowing all of those holes to be in the guard. It's letting some of that noise kind of come out um, rather than all being trapped inside of there. This guy, uh, huge reviews, it got uh, customers absolutely loved it. But what we did is took those customer reviews and, and that customer feedback and uh, stepped it up into our now 18 volt HP brushless 
power cleaner. So we went from 320 PSI now to a 600 PSI brushless HP unit. You can do a water hose, you can do a quick connect pump like this. I try not to spray too many people. And it'll self prime in about three or four seconds. That's what I have to tell Never wants to pry. Never wants to pry. There we go. I did get you. <laughs> so, much more efficient. And then you got the three position for rinse, uh, turbo, and 15 degree adjustments all right at your fingertips. Um, and then this also features uh, three speeds on the back so that you can uh, control how much pressure or how much water that you're, you're putting through the system. Um, this also uses our easy, easy clean quick connect system. And then this will turn into a side cleaner. So this is our flex wand. So if you want to connect your, your brush and then just do the same thing. And if you guys do want to clean the car, we get a little discount at the end for the <laughs> rental car company. So this, this you just run, clean your car. And then you can switch over back to the spray nozzle and get that, that uh, perfect clean look. Let's talk about our OnePlus 12 inch HP Whisper chainsaw. This is a premium low voltage chainsaw that's going to allow the user to cut up to 10 inches, logs of 10 inches. Uh, there's a couple 40 volt products that actually come with this hard case. So benefits of this hard case, put your chainsaw in there. It's actually got a clip inside this case where you can take your 40 volt battery, drop it in the case, put your chainsaw in the, in the case, close it up. Now you walk to your job site. If you run out of your first battery, you've got a second battery already there, ready to go. Something that we're also extremely excited about is our new top handle 40 volt chainsaw. This is HP, which is going to be high performance, great for arborists. I don't have to tell y'all, but this allows you to do one handed cuts. We've also got a clip on the bottom, attach it to the belt, climb the tree, do what you need to do. And then the beast of the beasts. This is our 18 inch HP 40 volt chainsaw. Chain break here for your safety, 18 inches of cutting. This guy right here will put a gas chainsaw to shame. Hey dude, I know this sounds crazy, but I don't, I can't feel anything in my finger. It's numb. So we're gonna take that lapper and just cut the tip off. Just so Are you can cool get with a good, that? That's what I would do. Okay. okay. All right, cool. cool. All right, I love this yeah. guy. Let's I love do it, this man. Guy. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.